Hello, an interesting and active journey is waiting for us today. Only 40 minutes drive from Kyiv and you'll find yourself in a small village named Kazilets. This is the magnificent navity of the Blessed Virgin Mary Cathedral, decorated with a graceful sculpting. The final court of the Ukrainian Baroque era, the last church of this style in the history of Ukraine. The temple has the status of monument of national importance. At the top level is a unique carved wooden iconostasis 27 meters high. This great temple was built in the 18th century by Natalia Razumovska Oda in gratitude to God for the happy fate of her sons Alexei and Kirill, who occupied a high position at the court of Empress Elizabeth. Welcome to Chernigiv. At the entrance to the city, we are met by the Orthodox Ekaterininskaya Church business card of Chernigiv. Mira Avenue, the Lona Street in Chernigiv. Then we've decided to walk around this wonderful city. you can see the Palace of Solomon Lens. Unfortunately, its appearance is disappointing. It needs a major rebuild long ago. And now a small shooting break. There are many shops with wedding clothes in the city, but due to quarantine most are closed. Wooden houses in the city sell a special charm. Nice and modern building is Chernigiv College of Music named after Rudsky. We came to a beautiful square named after Bogdan Khmelnytsky. Locals and city visitors love to sit here near fountains, the monument to Bogdan Khmelnytsky two and a half meters high. There is Petniska church in the square right there. It was built at the end of the 12th century, but it was destroyed during the Second World War and later reconstructed. Red brick church without plaster, which gives it its original appearance. Ukrainian women in national clothes named Vishivanka, and this is Park Stametrovka. Its length is 100 meters. We are passing Red Square, the main square of Chernigiv. The famous gelateria Sandra with ice cream. One ice cream bowl costs nearly 80 cents. There are also plenty of deserts for to go. The place is loved by moms with children. This is Transfiguration Cathedral, five-headed temple. At the moment, the reconstruction of facades take place. There was a strong fire in 1756. 
After that, the cathedral was repeatedly rebuilt. We were in the cathedral on the holy day of the Green Trinity. Green leaves of reeds are lined on the floor. There are always many flowers in temples. People put candles for the health of loved ones. Chernigiv Detinets, this is the central and most ancient part of Chernigiv, located on a high edge on the right bank of the Disna Valley. Beautiful park with historical canons. There are 12 of them in total. The Alley of Heroes with beautiful fountains. Our next step is Sedny, a countryside city on the Snow River, 25 kilometers away from Chernigiv. This is a very clean and well-maintained town. We are planning to work around the famous Lizagup estate with a beautiful large park, the most favorite place of Ukrainian artists. This is a monument to the former owners, art lovers and philanthropists Andrei and Ilya Lizagup. On this place a studio was built. Shevchenko worked there when he visited Sedny. This is Tatiana Lugovskaya. She is the head of the branch of the Chernigiv Historical Museum and the local guide. This is the cave where leeches used to live. Since 1972, the park has been registered as a monument of landscape gardening art of local importance. The monument to the Ukrainian writer Leonid Glebov. The Abar is a symbol of love. It was built by Ilya Lizagup in 1943 for his beloved wife Lizenka. Ilya and Liza have been living together for 50 years. The authentic Lizagup family residential building is being destroyed as in winter it's not heated. The monument to Taras Shevchenko. Inside a rotten ceiling and outward appearance rather deplorable. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
2007 рік. Лютом, а, да. Оце передмова рукою Шевченка написана. Дивіться, папір, який гарний, Клас. правильно? От, далі там вже ну, ну, критика гарнесенько. і так далі. Все. От, кожна, кожна стариночка, ну, це Добре. далі давайте, да. Нова бумага, скрізь, пахнет. ну, майже на кожній стариночці рука Якісь Шевченка, його замальовки, тексти, да, ага. замальовки його. Повністю, Клас. повністю. Три літа. Три літа, бачите, як написано цікаво, правда ж? Ну, такий орфограф, да? Його рука, тоді дивіться, переклад, і знову ж таки, і, ну, то є... Клас. The Resurrection Church of the 70th Century built by Jakob Lizagruk in the Baroque style. We didn't get inside, there was an auto. For centuries, representatives of the Lizagruk family were buried there. Next, we go to the wooden St. George Church, built in the 18th century. In addition to the fact that it is built without nails, it is also interesting as a cult film V for the eponymous work by Nikolai Gogol was filmed here. But for some reason, only the interior of the St. George Church was shown in the film. Our wonderful day is coming up to the end near this holy place. 